Hi friends, this is Sushant and welcome back to the basics of computer vision. Today we are going to create an another simple project to visualize RGB channels of a color image. We will use gray color map to represent the intensity of each color in channel using three separate images. So let's get started. First of all, you can see here we are in a project folder where we have images folder which contains all the images required for the project and notebook file which we have created in our last project. So let's start with by creating a new Python 3 notebook. First, we'll rename this file to RGB underscore channel. And now we can start writing code to it. So first, we will import the required libraries. So I'll type here importing libraries. So we are going to import matplotlib. I just press tab dot pyplot as plt. Then we'll import another matplotlib dot image library as img. And then the most important statement is percentage matplotlib inline so that we will get the image in the code line itself. So I'll press Alt Enter to execute this line and as well as to create a new line. Okay, so now the first thing that we will do is we will read the image which is in our images folder and then we will show that image in this code lines. So I'll call that variable as color underscore image which is equal to we'll use img dot im read function and then we have to give the path of the image file. So it is images slash rgb underscore channel dot jpg okay and then now to see that image we'll just use plt dot im show and then we have to give the name of the image that is color just pressing tab and i'm pressing alt enter so you can see a color image has been displayed so now we will create other variables which will read these channels RGB channel separately and then we will create a subplot to display all these images with respective titles to it. So let's start. So I'll just create one variable name R and just call the image in this image. We also have the row and column information. So at this time, we want all rows, all columns, but the red channel. So that's why I put zero here. Then for green, we have to follow the same process. All rows, all columns, and then the green channel. And for B, again, So we'll get all the channels in these three different variable RGB. Then we have to create a subplot. So for that, I'll just type some lines here. We will have the plot name as X1, X2, 
x3 and then we'll use plt dot subplots it is s and then we have to pass some arguments here so what we want is you can see here if i press shift tab we'll get all the arguments that are required for creating a subplot or here we are creating multiple subplots so we will supply those parameters so we want one row of all the plots so one then three columns because we are going to display rgb channels so three and then we are going to give a size of all these three figures so it is fig size is equal to we'll give size 20 by 10 okay so now we have to display these color channels in each subplot with a title to it so that we can easily recognize that which color channel has been displayed so i'll mention here x1 then dot set underscore title that's the function it is given name r channel x1 dot i am show to display this r channel so we have to give here r variable name comma and then which color map that we are going to use so we are going to use gray color map so i'll just copy these lines and paste it here so now we are going to talk about the second plot here we have to display the green channel and with the same color map that is gray again i'll paste the line press home key then three three and here we will have blue channel one more thing I need to change in both these lines is here we need green variable and here we need blue variable. So now I'll execute this line by pressing Control Enter. So you can see here the same image has been displayed with all separate channels. So the first image is of R channel, second image of green channel, and third image is of blue channel. So you can see the each color has been shown with different color intensity, it is represented in gray color. So this is how we can visualize three different channels of any color image that is red, green, blue channel separately using this method. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you.